Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojo. So today we have a look at a jailbroken app review of something called PDA Net. So this one is called, or this one is uh, a application that allows you to tether your iPhone 4, or iPhone 3G, 3GS, to be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot. Now this is one of the new features in the Verizon Wireless, or the Verizon iPhone 4. But as to previous phones, it is not available unless you have a jailbreak option. Now there is a uh, option out there called MyWi, which costs, I believe, $20 in the Cydia App Store. But this one can be found for free as long as you go to Cydia and you want to go to the search tab. Uh, I'm not going to have to do it here because I've already done this, but you just want to go to the search tab in the bottom bar here and you want to make sure you uh, search for uh, PDA Net. Now, once you install PDA Net, it will go down here, obviously, to your home page and you want to click it. And I'll give you some of the options here. So there's a couple of different hotspot tethering options you can do. So you can broadcast from the iPhone. Now keep in mind this isn't going to be perfect speeds. This is converting your 3G to a Wi-Fi connection for other phones or other mobile devices to connect off of it. Uh, you can broadcast the hotspot directly from the phone. You can connect it to a computer's hotspot. Uh, so you, you know if you already you have a uh, what do you call that? If you have a computer set up, you can connect it that way as a Wi-Fi client, or you can do a USB tether. So let's say you have a laptop or something, you can plug this in through the charger cable and do the USB tethering. So if you were to enable something like this, you would get the options and uh, to turn Wi-Fi on. So I'm going to quickly turn the Wi-Fi on here. And I'll turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, for example, I set up this demonstration of a password here and a SSID. SSID is the thing that's broadcasted when you look for wireless networks. Uh, channel, that's just the channel that you'd be obviously on, and I was doing some tests with this earlier. So uh, it's running a web connection, so obviously this isn't going to be the most secure uh, you know, Wi-Fi network. Web is easily crackable, but you know, for quick to go, you know, I bring my iPad around a lot, and it's a Wi-Fi model. If I really you know, want to do something on my iPad real quick and using the internet, I just turned on my iPhone 4 as a hotspot. And as like this example, when I was doing the video earlier, I was just running a ra random number. So this is 5288888888. Obviously, I think there's eight eights in here to totally to hit a 10-digit uh, number. So you need a 10-digit number as your password. You name the SSID. Uh, this will show up in your Wi-Fi settings. So once you set that, you can determine the signal strength you want. I obviously always set mine at 100. Keep in mind this will vary and uh, may you know harm battery life, but or not harm battery life. You know, may obviously make the battery drown drain quicker. So after that, you can go ahead and hit activate, and it's going to give you some information here. It's going to say the Wi-Fi channel. It's going to say all that information and the signal strength. And with that, I'm going to go ahead as this goes out of focus and go into my iPad here. Now I know you guys can't see this as well, but I'm gonna just really quick go ahead and go into connect to the Wi-Fi here. So let me just pan this camera up real quickly. So currently I am connected to my home network here, but as you can see there at the top of the network list, AC iPhone does show up. Sorry, it's kind of tilted here guys. Let me sort it out for you guys. So as you can see there, AC iPhone does show up. Let me take the rotation lock off. Uh, AC iPhone is the one I'm showing you. You can see I have full bars. The other one is a tech world, and that's my obviously my main router. So now I'm connected to the AC iPhone here, and my iPhone is again sitting right next to it uh, on the dock. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Safari, and then let's try and connect to a website. So it's already opening up something. But let's just go to Google.com and see how fast it takes to load. And actually, guys, that's not too bad for having the phone, you know, just being running off 3G. Uh, you know, you can even watch some videos off of this. Obviously, your again, your speeds won't be perfectly, you know, fast as if you were connected to a home Wi-Fi. But for browsing the web and going to websites, let's try and go to digitaldojos.com. Hit go, and Digital Dojos it'll start to load. And you can see this has a little bit more heavier content, but it loads it pretty quick. You know, uh, not again, not at perfect Wi-Fi speeds, but you can see here all the content has or is being loaded. So again, this isn't perfect speed, but it is viewable. It's, you know, usable to browse the web, read your RSS feeds, even probably watch a couple of YouTube videos off of this. Again, this is straight tethering from PDA net. Now they have a trial version once you get it, but the trial version is free uh, and it stays free. I believe you, you just get some limitations in uh, the usage. I think like how much, I'm not sure if I think it's how much data you can use or something like that. But PDA net is a great, great solution. Never really fails for the tethering. Uh, and, you know, if you don't want to pay that couple extra bucks out there for my wire or whatever, 
PDA Net is a great solution. Sorry, the camera keeps going out of focus here. So again, so if you have an iPad, another iPhone, or if your friends have iPod Touches and you really just want to tether and make a Wi-Fi hotspot available, this also gives you the data and the number being sent, how much battery you've uh, used. You can see there are the activities and the bytes. Right there it says 98 kilobytes. Um, and yeah, so with that, it also gives you, I think that's the, what, the MAC address or something for the uh, computer that's connected or maybe connected. All right, anyways, guys, that is my video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a quick look at uh, PDA Net for the iPhone, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS. Uh, and this is a demonstration using the iPad Wi Fi 6 gig 16 gigabyte model. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video uh, and look at it for the jailbreak. Again, you do have to be jailbroken. Uh, I'm running this on 4.2, so uh, I think it works on previous firmware. Again, PDA Net, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed.